the 133s are on the mat. Here we go. Alder Fimbratis versus Ziffen. Here we go on the mat. 6-0 dual score. And we're going to have Rico Puente coming out. And he goes Hurricane. Nice hard mat return there. Two takedowns. Alder Fimbratis on the board first here. GMAC duel brought to you by Defensive, Defensive, Defensive Belt, and a cradle attempt here by Alderson Bratis. Alderson Bratis looking for a pin. Full. Got him in some trouble right now, Puente in some trouble. Alderson Bratis is 133. Looking at first Cox. And we're going to stop that one. Technical violation. Um, Alderson Bratis. Alderson Bratis out of. West Virginia. We're here at the GMAC Duels 2019 here at Tiffin. And they want to talk about it. Self-defensive defenders we have built. And they're gonna confirm the call. So this still the official still over here is awesome. Not quite sure what we got here, but Olsen Brothers coach hot and bothered about it. Still talking about. They're gonna look at it again. Let's zoom out here for you. Dual score 6-0 in favor of Tiffin here, 133 pounds. The match scores 2-1 over some Broadus. Broadus out of West Virginia. This is currently Curtis Cox on the mat right now for Alderson Broadus. He has a 2-1 lead on Nico Puente of Tiffin U. You can go check out these dual matches on Flow Wrestling. Right now, we have one that is actually live right now, a replay of two of Kentucky Wesleyan and Tiffin. So they're on the mat, and they're, they're trying to figure this out. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on right now. I can tell you, the match score is 2-1, and they are watching a review. The officials are watching a review of Quinte and Cox Exchange here. All is confirmed. And we're going to confirm it. Not sure what Coach Simcoe is doing over there now. So this thing's just getting interesting. It's good. Zero to 100 here. All right? Fun to watch. Fun stuff. Okay, so 2 1 here. Cox of Alderson brought us on top here against. Rico Puente, Puente underneath, down. And we're gonna get a caution on Puente. I'll start cheating. So Puente up and out, we got a 2-2 two -two 
talking about due to the illegal hold, which was the debate. Not even sure quite what happened there in that illegal hold. So, it talks to takedown. He's got Puente in some trouble here. Puente down to his belly. 4-2 bout now. And Puente on the edge there. Dual score is 6 0. Penzone started out with a pin. So, right now, Puente on the edge. Cox is going to push him off. We're going to get a restart here. 139 remains here in the first period. 4 2 lead. We're looking at it. All this and brought us out of West Virginia Union. GMAC duels brought to you by Defense Hope, Defense Hope, Defender Chief Bill. Here at Tiffin University, the Dragons are your host here at the Hemminger Center. And they won the first duel. There's a nice shot by Cox. Puente trying to switch it. Puente looks like he's got a cradle strapped up. And of Cox in control. And that official really wants to know they were still neutral. He was passionate about telling them they were still neutral. I'll give the guys some credit. That's passion, folks. Puente could be looking for a ball here. Puente got him in some trouble. There it was. Puente had a ball here. Nothing yet. Oh, close. Cox battling through that one. Match is brought to you by Defense Hope. And Puente is going to put four more on the board. 9-4 lead for Rico Puente of Tiffin University. And that was a pretty filthy, uh, I guess we'll say cradle there. So Puente up 34 seconds in the first here. Shout out to Guy Sake on Defense Hope. Defense Hope, Defender to Bill. Because that was a filthy cradle. And he needs to get washed. And now Cox looking to hop over. Scrambling here on the edge. Now, what a turn of events. Cox to get the ball now after he almost got pinned. This is a crazy exchange. Could be looking for a ball. Puente in trouble. He battles through it. Now he's looking to step over. And what a finish. And we're going to get a restart with two seconds remaining. Wow. What a 10-9 match. Crazy madness. So that is going to make it 11 to 9. Hands to the hands to the face call. As Puente was fighting for his life to get off his back. But this is, I'm going to tell you right now, this is, uh, this is uh, two t shirts in the dryer in here right now, folks. So two seconds remains in the first, and Puente up to Cox going to ride the period and take a 11-9 lead into the second, and these guys are scrapping. Dual score 6-0 in favor of Tiffin University. Puente's choice will be underneath to start the second here. At 133 pounds, GMAC duels. Alderson Broadus Cox versus Pippin University's Rico Puente. So, AB Battlers, Curtis Cox on the mat right now. Come on, go. Here we go. Cox covers. That arm out. Back at least up an attempt. Cox looking for reinforced bar tilt. Puente up to his feet. Puente up and out. So Puente makes it 11 to 10 here at 133 pounds in this GMAC duel, inaugural GMAC duels at Tiffin University here in Tiffin, Ohio, NCAA Division II. Puente, Cox, and 
to the barn burner. And there's hands to the face. Another hands to the face. Second one on Puente. He gives another point up. And it, it looks like... Caution on Puente. And that is third. Check that. He gives up a point. Oh my goodness. Coach. Sinico uh, losing his mind right now. Puente covers. And now Puente tries to roll through with a cradle, does not lock it. Trying to go full on Shakur Rashid. Forgot to lock a cradle up and be as strong as Shakur Rashid. Reversal 21 to 10 here. What a wow. Once they get some trouble here. Cox is going to pick up the technical fall here. He is four points away. One ten remains. Cox looking to extend the lead. Cuts Puente loose. Puente, no answers to anything. Well, he's had some. Down ten now. He's gonna have to pin him at this point. And right now, head fakes there by Puente. And nice. Double leg blast through. That was nasty. Ooh. Gonna need some of that defense, so. Up and out. Puente can't seem to cut him loose. Now. Curtis Cox looking for a. He's got a nine point lead right now. Now, 12 seconds to make Curtis Cox going to take a major decision here. He's going to get AB up on the board unless Rico Puente goes full. Oh, now we're going to have some blood time. Blood time on Puente here. So, back to action. 
kitchen area. All the blood cleaned up. Tox into the major decision here. It's out of 10 seconds. Five seconds now. And Cox is going to put AB on the board here. Puts up a major decision. 22-13 for the Battlers of Alderson Brodus here.